Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys how I'm planning to quadruple my sales in print on demand for the new year or literally after the new year. Now, I want to be clear when we're working on print on demand as we're working, we're not necessarily quadrupling our sales in that moment, but it's after the experience, after, you know, going through the work, going through the trenches and, uh, you know, putting ourselves in that position to get to that point. That's why when I say all the time, you know, last year, the year before, when I mentioned doing 60 designs a day on Redbubble every single day, I was talking about how the sales are going to pay off in the future. And, you know, it's never been a better experience. Even till today, I'm seeing sales from products that I created a year, two years ago, three years ago, even sales that are coming in that I didn't even recognize, or I didn't even remember that I had created those specific designs. And once again, those are designs that I had created myself at that point with no virtual assistance. So I'm going to be sharing with you guys how I'm actually going to plan to do this and what my goal is. And we're actually jumping into uh, no, uh, to, uh, November here. And this is for me personally, the biggest time of the year, because what I like to do is I like to start the hustle, start the grind before the new year actually starts. So I don't have to figure out what I'm actually going to do by the time the new year comes. I'm going to be starting then. And I'll explain what I mean here. If you guys remember when I first introduced the concept of going hard every single day, no matter what, and committing, absolutely committing to the outcome of creating 60 designs a day, every day. This was during Redbubble. Simultaneously uploading a little bit to T Public, a little bit to Society6, a little bit to Zazzle, a little bit to Etsy, working on different things aside from my actual blogs, and then working on different projects, you know, just experiencing life in general, doing different things. It seemed like at the time that you know, to most people that it was completely feasible and it was feasible, but I had no life. And when I say no life, I mean, literally no life for that year. I grew the most I could grow from a discipline standpoint. I was working every single day, nonstop, no breaks, even the days that I was tired and I felt like I deserve a break or could get a break. I didn't. I just kept going. And my motto was, I'm going to keep uploading. I'm going to keep working every single day unless there's some sort of natural disaster that stops me. Unless the power goes out, I'm going to keep going. And that's exactly what I did. And thankfully, during that period of time, the power didn't go out. There was no natural disaster, which was very fortunate. And it allowed me to keep going in that journey of really just going through the process and the monotony of doing the tasks each and every day. And there is something to be said for that. Now, with that being said, when I even started was around... I think it was like around October where I introduced this concept of going hard before the year actually started. And guess what? I'm planning to do it all again this new coming year. But obviously, before the new year starts, I want to I want to start. I want to have a rolling start two months before the year actually starts. Now, I have a reason for that is because why start in the beginning of the year when everyone else is starting? Why not give myself the the leg up on the situation. Now, I'm not saying that from a competitive print on demand standpoint. You know, I even though there is going to be a lot more uploads on these platforms starting in the beginning of the year, I could see it happening. You know, the new year starts, everybody has these resolutions, these goals, and then next thing you know by February, half of the people who who set these resolutions or goals forgot about their goals, forgot about their resolutions. Uh, I'm not really in the mode of competing with them. I'm not in the realm of competing. I don't want to compete. I want to dominate. And I'm just sharing with you what has been working for me to achieve this, what you call success. The difference is, is during this period of time, um, I'm going to be completely isolating myself uh, from pretty much everybody, right? I'm going to be working as hard as I can. And I think not just in my print on demand, but in my personal life, I'm going to be going all the way out all the way out. I'm going to go as hard as I humanly can. And I understand some people can't do that. I'm not saying that you should. Everybody's life is a little bit different and we all have different responsibilities. I'll give you an example. I don't have kids to take care of. Some of you guys might have that situation, you know, so everybody's in a different situation, but I'm going to make it a thing to myself where 2024, 
I actually had to think about what year it was going to be, but 2024 is going to be the biggest, most profitable year for me, hands down, because regardless of the issues, the things that come up, I'm going to surpass them because I'm committing to my action. And if you guys ever want to achieve a goal, I wouldn't say set a financial goal, but more set an action-based goal. So what does that look like? Let's just say you want to make $10,000 on Redbubble in six months for the new year. Instead of saying $10,000, figuring figure out what it will take you to get to those $10,000. For some people it might be uploading 10,000 designs. For some people it might be uploading 20,000. For some people 5,000. Everybody's situation is different. But then you want to take that action that's required, break it down to a daily process and then figure out how what do I need to do on a daily basis to get to that point. And then make the goal, not the outcome, but the action. So you're being satisfied when you actually do the work as opposed to look Looking for the action because when a lot of people or for the for the result when a lot of people look to the result they they especially in the hard times they get distracted they want to give up fast and it's not that they want to give up fast but they feel like their work is not being paid off and I think that's one of the biggest mistakes when it comes to achieving goals and frankly they don't teach us this kind of stuff in schools what you should do is you should set a action goal not a result goal an action goal, like I'll do X, Y, Z for the next X amount of days. That's how you set goals properly, at least in my opinion. That's what I see in the work. Now, speaking of my actions, what am I actually going to do? Well, I'm going to upload every single day to Society6. I'm going to upload every single day to Redbubble. I'm going to upload every single day to T Public. I'm going to upload every single day to Zazzle and I'm going to keep tabs on my Etsy. I don't really need to upload every single day on my Etsy. I am planning on uploading every single day to my, um, what's it called, uh, f- uh, stock photos, sorry, I was going to say Adobe stock, but it's more than just Adobe stock, I have an account that merges a whole bunch of accounts together, Dreams Time, Adobe stock, and just a whole list of others, and it uploads to all of those sites simultaneously, so it's pretty good, but I'm going to be doing that once again on the side of my actual main work, and my actual main work is where I create my own websites, that are blogs. For example, I have a treadmill review website. We review treadmills and we get commissions based on the reviews, people buying the certain treadmills and things like that. That's an example, right? And so I have these different blogs. That's my actual main thing that I do every single day. But then I have the side work. And like I said, I'm going to be isolating myself pretty much completely for the entire next year. And uh, for me, the work starts now, and then when around January comes is when I'm going to be isolating myself. I'll talk about that later into the future, how I'm going to do that. Um, probably in January, I'll talk about that. I'll bring that up. But uh, yeah, so we're, uh, that's really what my goal is, is my goal is to quadruple what I'm doing now. I want to be able to go above and beyond. And when I say once again, my goal is I'm basically saying it would be nice to do that. But really, my activity, my work is going to be amplified. The results are going to be amplified. I'm going to learn more than I've ever learned before. And I'm going to struggle, you know. Uh, you you know, I, might, I could sit here and you guys could hear me talk about the easy parts, which is, you know, I'm going to get this results and get that results. But really, nobody talks about the struggle. It's going to be a really, really hard time uh, during that year. But hey, it's worth it for me. Uh, like I said, I can't tell you every single day I wake up on my phone. Uh, I have an application that my friend built that connects all the different Redbubble accounts that I have. I'll give you Redbubble as an example, okay? I have many different Redbubble accounts, and each one gets sales, and I get to see the item that it sells, the actual uh, price that I make, like the the profit, and I, the quantity. Every single day, I'm getting these these reports every single day. These live reports of the sales, the sales, the sales, and I'm getting sales from items that I couldn't even remember that I did. You know, you, you, you do get a little delirious over time creating those 60 designs a day, every day. Now, for people who want to know, when I was creating the 60 designs a day, it wasn't some sort of magic. It wasn't virtual assistants. I know somebody asked that. Um... I do have virtual assistants. That's a whole different conversation for a different time. I've posted many videos on that. But when I was posting 60 designs a day, I was doing it myself manually. That was the challenge in it. You know, it was it was just committing to something and doing it every day. And it was a lot. It was a lot of work. Aside from doing everything else, uploading to T Public, uploading to Society6, uploading to all these platforms, getting better, learning the platforms, 
every day I'm still a student, guys. I'm still learning every day. It doesn't matter. You know, I, I think I'll say I'm not a student anymore when I'm not doing it, when I'm not in the trenches no more. That's essentially when I'm not a student, when I'm not working every day. But I'm working, and I'm learning. Every single day I'm learning stuff, whether it be something really, really small or really, really big. And I'm pushing myself every day. And um, granted, the, th the really big things that I learn is not often now. I'm always looking to learn more. And I'm always looking to amplify and grow myself. But whether it be Redbubble, whether it be T Public, whether it be whatever platform, I want to achieve the best I can be with these platforms. And I'm not selling you guys a fake story here. You know, this is, it's going to be really, really tough on me. And I'm planning to do it. I don't know how many of you guys are going to come on this journey along with me, but you're welcome to do so. You know, you could figure out some sort of challenge, something that's going to be extremely difficult for you to achieve, an action-based goal, not a result-based goal, but an action-based goal. And then you come up with those specific results, uh, you, or, you know, over time. But you have to see that full year of it put into fruition. And I can't tell you guys, one year could really change your life. You know, I, I can't explain it enough, but one year can really alter your your view on everything. It could literally become a different person. So um, anybody's capable. It's just a matter of putting yourself through the pain every day. And once again, I think the biggest thing that we weren't taught in school system or just in life in general is how to properly achieve goals. And the goals are should be on, that the only thing that they should be is reflecting what you can control. And I can't always control my results, but I can control my work and my effort, the time, the energy, right? I can control those things. So I'm going to do what I can control because it's the only thing in my control. And I'm going to focus on my effort, my energy, my and, and what I'm doing, right? And then the outcomes, the results will come on their own. I can't control that, right? But at least when I put more effort and more energy in, I'll start to see certain things that I can control, meaning I'll start to see, okay, I can get better at this, or I'm weak in this area, I can get better at that. And uh, like I said, for me, 2024 is going to be a golden year for me. I'm going to try to iterate and try to improve on everything down the line. And uh, a lot of people talk about what they're going to do in a year, and, and they're going to achieve this, and they're going to achieve that, and they forget. And somewhere along the, along the line, they give up. But the whole point of that is I'm starting early here. So starting literally November 1st is when I'm going to start uploading like a madman. Uh, I'm giving myself a cool down period for this few days. I'm not saying that I'm not uploading. I am up uploading to Society6 because like I said, in about 30 days, 32 days, uh, Society6 is going to be dropping their update, right? Um, I already paid for my plans. I'm good to go. But uh, Society6, once they drop these plans, um, it's all wartime for the big accounts, it's war now, so it's just a matter of getting this stuff done, and I just figured I'd share this video, share with you guys what I'm planning to do, and how I'm planning to make this thing happen for me, so hopefully you guys have dreams, goals, and aspirations, and things you're going to achieve this year, I highly recommend you start thinking about it now, and if you're really serious about it, get started going now, why not, and if you complete what you want to complete, guess what, if you finish from now, at the end of no uh, October, or excuse me, at, at the end of, uh, you start in November, you can, at the end of next year, which is 2024, at the end of uh, October, which is the beginning of November, you can, or at the end of November, excuse me, you could be finished for the whole year. You could be, uh, you could complete one year during that period of time, but two months early, you could be relaxing the, the last two months. So, like I said, um, you can really change your life. It's just a matter of doing it, and I'm definitely going to be doing it this year. Uh, I love challenges. I know how difficult they can be. I've done them before, and I'm going to keep going. So, Hopefully this video was inspiring to you guys. Hopefully you guys had a great day today. Um, and uh, hopefully you uh, come with me on this journey. All right, guys. I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, hope you're inspired. Hope you're fired up. And uh, peace out. Bye. See you soon.